we're going to be going through how a combine works, specifically the Kloss Lexion APS hybrid. Firstly, we have the feeder house. Um, when your head cuts the grain, it then goes through the head and comes in through the feeder house. It's where your head hooks up. And then your chain here, which will be spinning like that, and it goes all the way up through this. We'll grab the grain and it will take it up. After the grain, all the material comes up through the feeder house. So the APS drum just starts the threshing. It helps with threshing. But after the APS drum, you have the main threshing drum back there, the biggest one. That's got, they're called rasp bars. Each one angles a different way to keep the crop moving like this, keep it rolling, which just helps it thresh better. Um, that will spin forward. You can see these V's here. Those help to start pushing the crop, separating them to both sides for the rotors, which we'll get to soon. But this drum here spins. It does most of the threshing. Um, there's actually grates under it, which the grain falls through. You can see the feeder house here comes up, goes into the APS drum here, and then goes into the main threshing drum. Here's the threshing cylinder um, and our concave. So this is a round bar concave. So you can change these bars for different crops, but we just use it for corn, soybeans, and wheat, so we don't change it at all. Area between the bar, the concave, and the threshing cylinder is your concave clearance. Um, they're all the way open right now, so this this is all the farther apart they can go. It rolls all in here and threshes all the grain out, most of it at least. They'll all fall through the bars and um, go onto the shaker pans, which we'll get to. So the threshing cylinder here and the APS drum, those are these are supposed to thresh all the crops, so separate all the grain from like the ear for corn, separating it all from the ear for wheat, like just taking it all out of the head, beans, getting all the beans out of the pods. It's basically all this is supposed to do. Mainly separate it from like the ear and stuff like that. With the threshing cylinder, it throws it all up in here into the impeller, which you can see this V, that V shape right there. Pushes, separates it, separates everything that's left into two groups, one on this side and one on the other side since there's two rotors on this combine. Separates in two groups and throws all the rest of whatever's in here, the rest of the material and grain, into the rotors. So on this combine, we have two rotors in the back, which the rotors separate any loose grain that's still in the trash or leftover material of the plant, any grain that's stuck in there. The rotor these f fingers here fluff up the grain, fluff up all the material so that the any leftover grain can just fall out and fall through the grates down there and go back down into our shaker pan. And then on the top there are veins. Um, those are just to keep all the grain and material and trash moving back, not sitting in there. So. Some brands of combines, like Case and John Deere, they have threshing and separating on their rotors. For the Kloss combines like we have, it's just separating on the rotors, so there is all of our threshing is done by the threshing cylinder in the front. This John Deere's and Case's don't have a threshing cylinder. They just have an impeller to feed it all evenly into the rotors, and the rotors do all the threshing and separating on those combines. You can see in there, those are the shaker pans, all the grain that comes down to the grates from our threshing um, cylinder. And that will all fall into the shaker pan, which will shake up and down like that and spread the grain out nice and evenly so that when it goes on our sieves, it's all spread out evenly. So those are the shaker pans down there. Those will shake everything out, and here's this is actually a shaker pan right above us here. So anything that falls down to the grates in the rotor 
will fall down on this shaker pan, shake it all down there, nice and evenly spread on there. And then it drops everything down here on these sieves, which also shake like this. And then our fans, there's actually fans down under there that blow air up through these. So these are actually open like this. You can see that fans blow air up through these so that all the grain is coming back and it blows most of the trash, most of the material, the plant material we don't want. It'll blow it out and these, which are like spinners, they spread the chaff out. Those are supposed to be right up here, but we have them down there so I can get in here. All the trash will go onto them and it'll spit it out the side and spread it out in the field. The grain um, is supposed to fall through here, but there will be some trash. So there's actually two sets of sieves. This is the top sieve and you have a lower sieve down there. You can't really see it very well. Kind of see it there. So these, you can actually adjust how wide open these are right here. So your top sieves, you actually have open a little bit wider so that the grain can fall through easier so you're not losing any grain at the back. So there's going to be trash that goes through there. And then the lower sieves, that's where it's just supposed to finish and get all the trash out, get all the plant material out. And that one's just supposed to have grain going through it. So those you actually have closed a little bit tighter. So that so this is made this is separating as well. This is just supposed to get all that light small pieces of plant material and trash out of here. So we have just grain. Your bottom sieve. Yeah, whichever go yeah, everything that goes to the bottom sieve goes in the clean grain auger on the bottom and then that doesn't go through the bottom sieve, goes to the auger through the another elevator and goes back through the entire thing again. I was talking about the fans earlier. Fan right there, those blow air through these right here and then blow that air up through the through the sieves. Blow all the trash and plant material out the back. And all the clean grain that goes through the bottom sieve comes through an auger. See it right there. And then this clean grain elevator. So pick up the grain, because there will normally be a cover over this. I'll pick up the grain and takes it up through this, up into the hopper, up there into the auger, and that'll put it in the hopper. And then this is our tailings, so anything that doesn't go through the bottom sieve will come through this auger, go up through that, go through in there, and you see those two things right there, I'll drop it right back down, and there's the APS drum, the threshing drum. It'll all go back to the machine. Ailing's elevator right here is pretty much just a mini clean grain, clean grain elevator. The clean grain elevator, which is actually right there, brings the grain up, throws it in here, and this auger right here brings the grain, and shoots it into here, and then you can pile all the way up. You can see we've got sensors here. This is the 100% sensor. Full. Those two augers, not on the bottom, will take the grain out of here, into the big auger, go out, and then you can dump all the grain out through that. So that's pretty much where all the grain goes. Once everything's shelled and the grain's clean, it comes up in here, you can unload it. So after everything is processed, everything's shelled, separated, all the trash will come out here. When we do wheat, we lay straw, and we did to do some with beans too. So this is how it's supposed to be when you want to lay straw rows of straw to make bales. It'll be open like this, so all of the wheat will come to the back. It'll just slide down and just make a line right here, a row of straw. But when you want to spread it out, like we do with corn, you just spread it. This little pan right here will come out and connect right there, so everything coming out of the rotors will go down in It'll go into it'll go into the knives up there, which will chop all the residue up into smaller pieces. You can see the knives in there. Can't really see them too well, but they'll chop it up, and then the the knives in there. Can't really see them too well, but they'll chop it up, and then these will be spinning. They'll be spinning this way, and they'll just throw everything out both sides spread it out so went through the entire process of how 
how it works, how it gels or separates. This is a hybrid combine, so it has this, the threshing cylinder. You said the other John Deere and Case, most other brands don't have the threshing cylinder here, the big threshing drum, or the APS cylinder. So this is a hybrid combine, which means it's got the rotor and the threshing cylinder.